So the story's out there. Everyone's going to see Oxford United Stadium as the headlines or whatever. What is the actual reality? Put it in the simplest terms. What has just happened? So basically, the, the actual reality, Chris, is that Oxford United has made an offer um, to Oxfordshire County Council to lease the land for a specific period of time um, at Stratfield Break. Um, and the purpose of actually building a, a stadium there, an international class stadium. However, it's really important to note that that offer is subject to planning. Yeah. And at this stage, although we're very grateful to Oxfordshire County Council for listening to the offer, that's all they are doing at this stage. They're only simply listening to the offer. You get this great news this week about the first steps of, of the new journey, the new, the, the new football club. And, uh, but when we use the word new, and this is one thing that everybody uh, has, has spoken to me about, when they think new, they think it's a, a, a leaving behind of the old. Mm. It's not. It, it's 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 an internal um, motivation of, of everybody to use what made this club great. Fans, I know what fans are like. They're all going to go. What colour are the seats? What's it called? How big is it? What? How much are the hot dogs? All that. We are a long way away from moving we're, into a new we're, we're a long, 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 long way away. No decisions have been made and to be perfectly frank, we haven't even looked at those specifics yet. All we simply want to do is, we've always said we want to be in control of our own destiny. Mm. Um, and all we're simply doing is try to be in control of our own destiny. As I, you know, as I said so many times on, on media outlets today, is the fact that this is a it's an if the offer is accepted, it's not a when. So we're obviously waiting to hear. Obviously for me, I know Oxford inside and out, so it's something that I would be looking at and thinking it's only a positive for the club. Mm. Um, but really for us, our focus is at the moment is, is Saturday and then anything beyond that with the games. And that's the only thing we really think about. Obviously off the pitch, we can't control what goes off on off the pitch, but. Um, news that has obviously broken that it's, it's only going to be a positive for Oxford United and, and definitely not a negative. I mean, principally, we, we said that obviously Stratfield Break is, is in Kidlington, so the residents of Kidlington are, the, are at the top of our agenda to actually have open discussions with. We obviously have to work, continue to work really closely with, with our fans group and the Oxford United supporters panel and Oxbox, plus, the, plus you know, everybody who's mm. involved in the. In, in the um, potential movement forward of, of Oxford United, we have to speak to councillors, we have to speak to planners, obviously we have to speak to Sport England, the RFU, the ECB, um, the FA, the EFL, obviously the list goes on and on and on, it's, it's a countless amount of people, but principally I think it's important for us to reinforce that the, the community is at the top of our list in terms of actually consultation. And I mentioned people like Sir Neil Williams, like I say, I'm sure all the shareholders will, will vouch me for this one. And I know our Tim's worked over the last few weeks to sort of to, to, to make sure to, that everyone in the building. And I just think it's it's a it's a really good, healthy football club. I've learned very very quickly to to temper expectations and my own expectations and and try very hard to to not over promise because at this moment in time we're certainly not, you know, this is this is subject to approval and it's simple and straightforward as that. But no, the Kassan has been a good, it's been good for, for us on the pitch. We've been, we've, well, look at last calendar year, we, yeah. we, have, we got the most points out of any, any team at home. Yeah. And it, it's definitely somewhere where we enjoy playing, it suits our style of football and we, we, we played well there and we I don't, can't say any team probably likes coming to the Kassam and no, it is, it yeah. but on the other hand it, it's something that is obviously always loomed over the club where we haven't owned the ground yeah. and it's something that is an improvement where if we can find someone that's home and it was ours then it's, it's only going to be good for, for the club moving forward and it obviously shows how the direction the club's going in and, and the ambitions the club have.